Jackson Dart to Oklahoma? Ooh, let's unpackage that. All that coming up here in just a minute. good everybody it's your boy jay here with unfair sports where we're talking oklahoma football college football and honestly sports in general first off thanks for tuning in while you're here go ahead and hit that like button that way youtube knows that this is actually a good video subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and get alerted for any more content that i do put out and then share if you know anybody else that likes commentary from a regular fan like you and me talking about oklahoma football college football and other sports in general And since we're getting a lot more eyeballs lately, we've been seeing a big rise in the followers. I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away this DJ Graham shirt when we hit 1,000. If we hit 1,000 by this weekend, I will be giving away one lucky winner this shirt. The instructions will be in the post in the community page of this YouTube channel. So you'll see the picture and you'll see instructions on what to do. Make sure you comment with Boomer and um, I will randomly select somebody and get you this shirt. Before we dive into the meat and potatoes of the purpose of this video, I want to let you all know a couple of things for those that are new tuning in. I am not a journalist. I am going to school for a master's in journalism, but I am not a journalist yet, nor am I a sports reporter. I am a sports commentator. So what's the difference you may be asking? I rely on the great men and women in the field to let us know what's going on. I'm here to read the tea leaves like you as sports fans do and just talk about it. This is a space for us to talk through it, get an understanding of what's going on. If you don't want to do it in the other spaces, I'm here just to banter back and forth and build relationships with sports fans. So that's what we're doing. So thank you to all of those men and women out there grinding out this information. We appreciate you. One thing I'm going to make sure I do a better job of is I'm going to post the links to all the articles that I read as I'm doing the reading for you. And you can go in there, you can click through, read their article, as well as give them some kudos and thank them for the great reporting that they're doing. So I'm here to commentate just like you are. Now, for the reason why you are here and the reason why I'm making this video overall, you didn't really want to listen to all of that before, is Jackson Dart, former quarterback at USC, true freshman, is in the transfer portal. He entered the transfer portal on Monday. I'm a little late because I've actually been fighting an illness, and so now I'm back up and running to talk about this. He went in the transfer portal on Monday after the tea leaves that we were reading speculated that and shown that Caleb Williams and Mario Williams from Oklahoma were in California, in Los Angeles, visiting USC's campus. So Jackson joins Kendon Slavis, who entered the transfer portal back in December, and now the quarterback at Pitt as the two quarterbacks that are leaving USC since Lincoln Riley got there. Now, this is super interesting. So initially, some of the reports were believed that BYU, Ole Miss, West Virginia, and Oklahoma was in the mix of schools that Jackson will be interested in attending. BYU mainly because he's from Utah, West Virginia because his offensive coordinator, Graham Harrell, is now the offensive coordinator at West Virginia, Ole Miss, and Oklahoma because of just Lane Kiffin and I believe Jeff Lebby. It's being reported by um, Jerry Hamilton over at On3 Sports that there are three teams now that Jackson Dart are looking at. He's looking at Oklahoma, TCU, and Ole Miss. So it goes back to the original reports. A little bit about Jackson. Dart, 6'3", 215 quarterback, true freshman. He played six games last year for USC, starting three because Kenan Slavis was hurt. Um, He's a four-star quarterback coming in in the 2021 class, and he did pretty solid when he played. 61% completion percentage, threw for 1,300 yards, had nine touchdowns, five interceptions, and ran for two touchdowns in in the six games that he played. He started the last three games of the season. USC didn't have too great of a se- uh, of a season last year, but he's a true freshman. It looked like he has potential. Based upon that, some reporting, some recruiting sites have given him a five star rating coming into it. I think he's ranked at least the third rated transfer player in everybody's portal. So that's pretty good. And so Brandon Drum for OU Insiders, at a uh, part of the twenty four seven Sports Network, was reporting that there was very big interest in between OU and Dart as well as Ole Miss and Dart. So they had some mutual interest, and there's a possibility that that's going to go down, which is even more interesting because Oklahoma just hosted 
Chuba, former quarterback from Florida State, he's been in Oklahoma on Tuesday and Wednesday doing his official visit. As you can see in this picture, his mom posted that they had just landed in Norman, so he's in Norman Tuesday, Wednesday doing his visits, and it looks like Dart's going to be visiting over the weekend. And right now, it looks like Dart is in Ole Miss with his wide receiver, Michael Trigg, who just entered the transfer portal, and he's scheduled to visit Ole Miss here on Thursday, which is when we are recording this. So they may be coming as a package deal. So if Oklahoma has a chance to get both, I think it would be a good idea to go after Dart. Now, I'm kind of curious from you all, who would you prefer, Purdy or Dart? Not to really play some against each other, but at the same time, you got Dylan Gabriel who's coming in. Caleb Williams is gone. We're just going to go ahead and act like he's not coming back. Um, Kind of negating what I said on a few videos back. But – We've got Dart. We got Purdy. The question is, which quarterback would you prefer? We've seen Dart play. Look solid for who he is. And I think if you add him to that system with Dylan Gabriel, great competition if you're going to go for a national championship. You got to have guys compete against each other if you want to go for a title. I mean, just ask Nick Saban. Go look at the, the stable of rooms that he has with all the great players. You're going to need both. So, if Oklahoma has a shot at Dart, they better go full steam ahead after him because he will be worth the time. At that size, at that rating, out of Utah, I think he could be a monster. Now, I don't know what Purdy could do. Of course, Dylan Gabriel knows Levy's system, so that's where the questions come in. And like I said, I'm speculating like you all. I'm reading the tea leaves. I'm not sure. We know Gabriel's here in Oklahoma, but I don't know which one would truly be the best option right now. But I want you all to tell me, who do you think would be the best player to have? Do you prefer Purdy? Would you prefer Dart? Competing with Dylan Gabriel for the job. Leave your comments below. We'll have a video about some of the other players that are here visiting Oklahoma. We've got a big time defensive lineman that's in town this weekend. Doing a visit, and then Oklahoma just lost a corner. We'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, peace.